this keeps falling off my tripod. Fuck if I know what this, what is this? What does it do? Someone tell me in the comments below. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Not to flex or nothing, but I ironed this shirt for you lot. So don't say I don't give a shit. I know it's Nirvana too. They weren't for ironing shirts. They were anti-establishment, not ironing shirts. I'm a sellout, what can I say? Welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I thought we'd have a look at Toxic Reddit and see what's going on there because I love raising my heart pressure. I feel precarious, like this tripod's just gonna topple over without that thing. Oh well, who else likes to live dangerously? Like, comment, subscribe, resubscribe for the engagement. No, wait, if the glitches happen, not for the... <sighs> not done one of these in weeks. You can tell, can't you? Don't worry, I won't leave you again. Let's have a look. Am I the asshole for not banning a customer who asked my employee out? I'm the owner of a small diner and one of our waitresses is an 18 year old girl who I'll call Sarah. Sarah is generally a good employee. There is one customer who I'll call Andrew. Andrew is about 70 to 80 and is generally kind of an ass. Lately he has been asking me a lot about Sarah, such as her schedule and what time she'll be coming in. He'll come in and sit an hour waiting for her to come in. You don't see this as a problem. He also offered her a ride home which I did find odd. Dude, he is like her granddad, like great granddad if she's 18. Recently, he called her over and started professing his love to her. Sarah got extremely creeped out and went over to me, telling me she would never serve him again and that he was a disgusting creep. She told me that I should ban him from the restaurant because according to her, he had crossed boundaries too many times. I told her I would not be banning him because he had not done anything illegal. Wow, way to make your employees feel really safe, you asshole. Sarah also blew up at me, I don't blame her, for telling him where her second job was when he asked after the incident out of curiosity, he's very nosy. And I think it's not such a big deal because he hasn't touched her, nor do I think he's done anything illegal. He works for a school, so why would he risk his career? He's like 70, why would he be obsessing over an 18 year old if there wasn't some malintent? It doesn't even matter if he never does anything. He's being inappropriate and he's being creepy and you should back up your employees over like some fucking dude. No wonder so many people are just like leaving jobs and not, not finding new ones if it's, if it's like this out there. I told her that I would make sure she never has to serve him again, but that I would not be banning him because he has not actually done anything illegal. What a fucking suck up for the law, get a life. Sarah is claiming that he could follow her home from work and find out where she lives since she walks home. I feel that my business could get in trouble if I banned him because what if we got sued for age discrimination for banning? Like his age is a... Am I the arsehole for not banning a customer? You're the arsehole. You should be more worried about protecting her and getting a sexual harassment lawsuit. You've done the following. You've allowed Sarah to be continuously sexually harassed at work. You've done nothing to stop the sexual harassment. You revealed her personal information to a customer. You threatened her safety and put her at risk for more harassment and physical harm by giving her, her information. He is now using that information to stalk her. You continue to choose your customer's wants over your worker's safety. You are the arsehole. I hope she sues you. But in my opinion, simply asking someone out isn't harassment. No, but continually trying to find out more about them, trying to give them lifts home alone. How are these people so oblivious? He was making creepy advances to her and asking you about personal information. Are you seriously not seeing that? He asked out of curiosity and I couldn't just lie to a customer and tell them I don't know because he knows that I know her very well. I didn't say her hours, just mentioned her other workplace. I'm gonna go out on a limb here and, and guess that this is a bloke. You don't need to lie, you should just be able to say, I'm not permitted to give private information out about my employee. It's not lying. Though, what's the hang up on just fucking lying if it means protecting someone's security and safety? Like, what's the hang up on lying? Just lie, not a big deal. You're not gonna go to jail over lying, are you? Though you might get sued if you continue this behavior. Girlfriend, 33 female, threatened breakup over our 28 male sex. I've been with my girlfriend for four months. It's the longest relationship that I've had and my girlfriend has been married before. My girlfriend and I had a solid sex life. We both have matched the bido. She's in great shape. She's really giving. And it's been therapeutic when she's really giving. AKA, she does all the work. The other day I needed to get to work on the weekend by a certain time. My girlfriend and I started having sex and after I came, she asked me for a little help so she could come. I admit I was tired and went to have a shower. When I got back, she was getting dressed and said she wasn't impressed. I apologized and said I'd make it up to her. I was busy and didn't end up texting her for the rest of the day. She texted me and said, do you even care? And I said, I was at dinner with friends, which she knew. I asked her what she needed me to do and she angrily responded, I need you to care. I mean, if you were at dinner with mates, she would have time to text someone, just saying. If anyone argues with me, I mean a simple, like quick text that takes you 10 seconds. Just like, blah, 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 hope you're okay. Easy, done, done it in 10 seconds. 
No excuses. When we talked in the morning, she said, this is obviously a mismatch. You obviously don't like or respect me. I constantly take care of you sexually, listen to your work and family problems. And you don't ask me any questions about me. You have erectile dysfunction. Oh, she really went from her. You have erectile dysfunction and I've been taking care of you for months. Honestly, I was kind of offended she went straight to the jugular by text in the morning. I told her that I thought she needed space and that sometimes she doesn't respond on time when I call her anyway. We agreed to take a break and talk in three weeks. However, Reddit, I think I made a mistake. When I go to her social media, I see she blocked me and isn't responding. Is there anything I could do? Yeah, you're dumped. That is over. She's not coming back from that. Right, so he was too tired to help her come. But I love my videos. I love how crude we are here. But he went to work after and also had dinner with friends after that. I bet it's not the first time it's happened. Oh, he made a comment. Thanks. The problem was that I had told my GF the night before and kicking you out at 11 a.m. while in an Uber. I asked her to buy the Uber home as well. She said she didn't like the wording. I also asked my girlfriend to contribute more financially because I'm self-conscious she could be using me for my high income. She argued that she had just bought a house and is in school part-time and I make four times her income. When we talked the night after dinner, she brought up both things and said that I clearly don't love or respect her. And when we were talking, she asked me to name her current school program and to be honest, I couldn't. Yeah, definitely an ex-girlfriend now. She said she's helped me with ED, helped me with free anxiety attacks and listened to my work programs all within the last four months. We had a long talk and I agreed it may be a mismatch and maybe at some point I stopped caring. She was, Stop, at some point you stopped caring, what, after four months? No wonder four months is your longest relationship. She was angry and asked me why I did I make her buy an Uber and kick her out and leave her without coming if I didn't care. I do care. I asked her to be specific with what she needed. She couldn't answer. She said, you knew I was upset and you didn't even call. I have been taking the breakup hard and hurting. I miss her. I told her I need space to accept we aren't together and that she could call me in four weeks. What a fucking mess. Some solid sex life if she was really dissatisfied and broke up with you over it. Okay, last one. Am I the asshole for asking what my friend sees in his wife? This just sounds... Great. Although I stand strong in my beliefs, my friend told me that what I did was not okay and I think now I feel conflicted so I'm making this post. I don't think I'm wrong though and you'll see why. My friend is very good looking. He met his... Do you like your friend? He met his wife before he met me around seven years ago through school or something and she's a mess. I mean, she's not the ugliest but she's really tiny and kind of pudgy and has an acne but... <laughs> This, wow, this person's amazing. Which I don't understand, she, she's 27. She also has a double chin when she speaks, which isn't the worst, I get. I call bullshit, I think this is fake. It's not the worst, I guess. But compared to my friend who is so good looking, she's basically like a two. The only thing I can give her is that she's kind of funny and she is book smart, okay job, I guess. But that's it. All of these fucking capitalize, what? That's it. I have tried my hardest to hint to my friend that he's young, he's only 25, he can find someone else. Even I'm open to dating him. He's gorgeous, but he's never caught any hints. It's like he's under a spell. Okay, so this person, either this is fake or this person is definitely in love with the friend. His wife is pregnant at the moment, which is frustrating because I haven't seen him in a while, virus. Wow, what a lovely person. This person is such a good friend. I wish they were my friend. And we used to call at least semi-regularly, but now he can't because she makes him wait hand and foot on her. She's fucking pregnant. Fuck you. And he's lovesick for some reason. Oh, I wonder why. Finally got to video call him the other day after weeks and he looked tired but happy and gorgeous as ever. She came to say hi and she's really let herself go. I could- <laughs> this has got to be fake. <laughs> wow. I couldn't even look at her straight without grimacing. She was a mess. When she left- who- like- even if, right, okay, say this isn't fake, yeah, and this is a real person. Who does that anyway? Who, like, looks, you know, you get, like, such a variety of, of people, shall we say, whenever you go. You, you imagine, like, this person just sitting there, like, ugh, every person that walks, like, who does that? Get a grip. I don't do that. I'm too busy thinking about myself all the time to think about how other people look. <laughs> Sounds narcissistic, but actually, it's a good quality to have. Too concerned about myself to worry about how other people look. I just don't care. When she left the room, all he talked about was her and baby this, baby that, and she this and she that, and she's glowing and shit. It's like we see two different people. Finally, I couldn't take it anymore and asked what exactly he sees in her. He was like, what do you mean? So I gave him some examples that I put above. Instead of talking to me like an adult, <laughs> he went really silent. And when I was like, what is it? He said, do you mean that? And I said, yes. And he said, I'm too tired for this. And then he suddenly hung up on me and before I even had space to breathe, blocked me everywhere. I really do not understand what I said. No, no, you, this has got to be fake. People aren't this oblivious, surely. 
I really do want to know what he sees in her. They don't even have the same interest. My friends are since then hounding me about how could I say that. And everyone I talk to seems to be getting mad at me. I don't think I am, but am I the arsehole? I really don't want to lose him over something to do with her. So should I just apologize? At least have to do with her. That's his wife. That's his wife. And she's being like, well, I'm assuming... Maybe I shouldn't be assuming the gender. They, they're being like, oh, I'd be open to dating him. He's fucking married. Like he's not available to date. And even if, I don't know, he suddenly got a divorce tomorrow, it's not healthy for anyone to jump from like a marriage, a recommitted really relationship to, or, like, it's not healthy. People shouldn't jump from relationship to relationship. You're the biggest asshole ever. Clearly he finds her attractive and loves her, so leave them the fuck alone. You're just jealous of her and mad you can't have him. Don't try to bring them down just because you're miserable. Also, the only thing you said about him is his looks. Get out of the shallow end of the pool you're in and grow the fuck up. I like that person. That's true, actually. Didn't mention anything about how, like, anything else. One of the comments is like, wife, has a second chin, minding her business, growing a baby. This person. So I took that personally. That's, um... If that is real, the OP is definitely exaggerating any quote unquote perceived negative features of the wife to validate their jealousy and probably you should stay the fuck away from them gross thank you for coming to my ted talk that's all that's all for today's video i hope you enjoyed it remember to like comment subscribe i make new videos whenever i feel like it recently it's, it's kind of felt like recently i've not felt like it but now i do feel like it so you should be getting more i know how it looks I know CPM is higher in December, that's not why I'm doing it. I actually feel like pretty bad when I don't, when I'm not productive. But I don't know, I think I've just felt like recently I should be being more creative. I should be doing more. But then sometimes when you feel like, oh, I should be doing more, you then do less because you feel bad that you're not doing more and then it turns into a negative head cycle. That's where I've been at. I feel like I should be doing more. I should be doing those shorts. I should be doing more like funny comedic things as I just sitting around being mad about random people. But I don't know. I think I've been feeling like, you can tell I had therapy this morning. I've been feeling like I need to just work out what I want to be doing. And I saw Russell Brand the other week, went to one of his gigs. So I decided that's what I should be doing. I should be on it. I should basically just be Russell Brand, but better. Forget having my own personality. Just siphon what I can off of him and use it to my advantage. That's all for today's video. See you guys next time. Bye.